Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, we're going to start with some channeled messages, do some oracle cards, and then get into the reading, okay? So, Cancer, what I picked up on for, for you was very interesting. Um, there is someone here, possibly someone younger than you, okay, possibly. Um, this person doesn't have what you have, okay? They don't have what you have. They're never going to have what you have. Um, and this person is very jealous. They're very jealous. They're ve they, they, they see you as some form of competition, but they could never measure up. They just can't measure up to you, okay? Um, I feel that this person it, it wants to take something from you. They want to maybe you know hurt a relationship hurt a business start like like if if you're trying to start something new this person talks bad behind your back this is a very sneaky person very sneaky person um this is somebody that like you know they're just trying to disrupt your life and i feel like you're just like so oblivious like you're totally even unaware because you're just you know, on a higher vibration, focusing on your relationship, your business, or whatever it is that you're doing, Cancer, and you're just like, wait, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, Cancer, there's someone in your midst that just doesn't want to see you succeed, or, and, and it's literally because this person just can't be you. They'll never have what you have. They, they just, you know, I don't really feel like you're walking around with a massive ego or flaunting, you know, anything. Um, you may have a successful business. You may have a successful partner in your life. You may have a nice relationship. You may just be, you know, your life may just be stable and going well, perhaps. I don't know, but someone here wants what you have and they're never going to get it. You know, they're, they're just, and it's probably because they operate from a very low vibration. Um, tell me about cancer, please. We've got a fiery climax approaches and your dreams need a practical plan. So cancer, basically crap's about to hit the fan here. Okay. It, it's about to hit the fan. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. So if you want to accomplish something, instead of sitting here and fighting with me, go accomplish it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if someone here wants something, they're not manifesting correctly. They're hating on the people that already have it instead of going out and working for it. Right. Um, you know, I mean, if you want a successful relationship, stop hating on mine and go out and date it. And find somebody you know good like it's just you know what i'm saying or if you want a successful business stop you know bad mouthing me and talking bad about me and you know get to work right so it's it's you know but with a fiery climax approaches oh way too many cards clarity guidance love messages for cancer clarity guidance love messages for cancer goddess of the moon and the world okay uh seventh chakra cancer you may be very spiritual, maybe you're a tarot reader, you know, maybe you just follow divine guidance. Um, but I feel here with goddess of the moon and the world, there is somebody in your circle that you are completely unaware of that, you know, a cycle is going to end with this person. You either need to shut the door on this person. You need to let this person go. There's a connection here that is ending and you are so oblivious. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of feel like you're just very oblivious. You don't see it coming. Um, like someone here is about to blow up on you or something or you're about to like hear something clarity guidance love messages clarity guidance love messages for cancer please clarity guidance love messages for cancer please so we've got travel and we've got present power and then deserving so cancer listen i feel like you made decisions in your life and you made the decision to move towards people places and situations that are deserving of your time and attention um you know you played it safe and respected yourself you played it safe and protected yourself and i feel here that you know you're getting what you deserve you're reaping what you sow you made positive decisions decisions and now you're you're moving forward right and there's people here that just don't like it but the thing here is cancer is that anyone could make could choose to better their life on any day tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer okay so we have cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting we have talking, interested, conversing, more awaited message arrives, text, call, email, and hovering. 
And we've got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. Cancer, I feel like maybe you're in a relationship. Something has come towards you. I mean, it sounds like a relationship to me, Cancer, right? Um, I feel like you're very happy, very stable. There's a lot of joy in your life. If that's not here yet, it's coming in, Cancer. You're entering a period of love and peace and prosperity. And there's someone here that just don't like it. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Okay. So we've got to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. We have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And we've got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So, Cancer, this could be an ex. It could be a past person. A past, you're, you, you're just releasing your past here, Cancer, is what I'm feeling. I feel like you freed, you know, you freed yourself from people, places, or situations. You trusted in the universe. You surrendered to the divine. Whatever's meant for you is meant for you. And, you know, you're releasing your past and starting a new path. And, uh, yeah, getting to know each other, new love, and wedding. Cancer, Answer, you're meeting the one here and with codependency after that there's someone here that's pissed off about it there's someone here and, and obsessively pissed off about it um clarity guidance and love message messages tell me about cancer please sun moon rising and venus tell me about cancer please sun moon rising and venus please tell me about cancer please sun moon rising and venus okay so we have the seven of wands we have the justice card libra energy the five of swords and the nine of cups in the reverse under the deck it's the seven of cups here and the two of swords The Knight of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Four of Wands here with the Devil and the Hierophant. Good Lord. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So, Cancer. I feel that with the Seven of Wands and the Justice card, you have overcome a lot. And the reason why you've overcome a lot is because you made the right decisions with the Justice card. You've either done a lot of good in your life and now it's coming back to you, or you just simply made the right choices and now life is getting better. With the Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups in the reverse, you have a lot of people that are unhappy about this and they want to sabotage your success, okay? With the Seven of Cups here, it may not be just one person, Cancer. This may be multiple people. With the Two of Swords here, I feel like you don't want to see the truth about these people. You don't want to cut them out of your life. You haven't cut them out of your life. You just don't want to see the truth here. Um, with the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Four of Wands, these are people that are coming in, I feel, very passionate about causing grief in your life these are people that want to um they see you stable they see you happy and they want to see you you know hurting or suffering in some way with the devil and the hierophant this is someone that's very jealous of your stability they're very jealous of maybe a long-term relationship um yeah, see, with the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, it could be a Leo, Sag, or an Aries, and the Five of Wands and the Six of Cups, this could be an ex, a family member, someone here is really pissed because they're either financially desolate, left out in the cold, they're alone, they don't have anyone, they're very jealous over this new beginning here, very jealous that you have moved on, very jealous that you have somebody, um, very jealous, okay, that this person is alone, this person is not doing as well, as you and instead of just going out and pursuing their own success and victory they choose to sit around hating on your life okay let's see here tell me about the seven of wands for cancer the seven of wands for cancer we've got the two of swords tell me about the justice card for cancer and the ace of wands cancer you've got something very new very exciting um very passionate coming into your life and i feel like with the two of swords and the seven of wands you've overcome a lot but at the same time you haven't wanted to see the truth about people you've allowed people to come into your energy that really don't deserve to be there okay tell me about the five of swords and the lover's card you see what i'm saying cancer 
cancer man woman and you see that snake looking over it um you know i feel like you have a relationship here and people want to you know sabotage it destroy it they want to play mind games here tell me about the nine of cups and the magician cancer you have someone here that's literally manifesting your unhappiness okay that they're deliberately trying to jinx your life i'm not going to go with black magic or evil eye but i feel like someone here just wants you to be unhappy they're 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 deliberately like jinxing your life or wishing you bad luck or wishing that something in your life fails okay queen of wands again leo sag aries energy tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer please We've got the tower in the reverse, Aries Scorpionic energy, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Swords, Aquarius Gemini Libra energy. Cancer, I feel here, I feel that what's going to happen here is, is this person is going to come around Cancer. I feel like this person has done things to you that should never have been forgiven, okay? Um, and I feel like they're coming back around Cancer, but this person has a plan. Um, this person has some sort of plan or strategy here. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, the Eight of Swords. This is somebody that Cancer is trying to get in your head. They're trying to bind you. They can't let you go. This is somebody that talks behind your back. You know this person does things behind your back. Uh, Five of Cups. This is someone that's just very unhappy with their life. Tower card in the reverse and the tower in the upright. Cancer, this is somebody that you have never had a peaceful connection with. Um, constant sabotage, constant, it's just constant. And I feel, Cancer, that, you know, you maybe have decided with this person that you just don't want them in your life, that you maybe just stop talking to them. Tell me about the Ace of Cups here for Cancer, the Ace of Cups for Cancer. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So, Cancer, this person may come in with an apology, with an offer, with all smiles and everything, saying that they want to talk things out, they want to work things out with you. Um, with the Page of Wands and the Fool card, this person has a plan to get you to trust them again, okay? They want to get you to trust them again, because if you trust them again, they can, you know, even though you're the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here, they want you to feel Feel rejected or hurt or they want to take attention away from you or bring negative attention to you this person is out to hurt you in some way shape or form knight of swords and the ten of swords you see what i'm saying this person is out to betray or hurt you um if you should let them in cancer again one more time i feel like this will be the final ending of the connection clarity guidance love messages tell me about the challenge here for cancer the challenge for cancer the challenge we've got the ace of pentacles queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy and the three of pentacles cancer the challenge here is is that you have something beautiful and stable in your life you're working on things here you're very stable um do you really want to the, the challenge here is that you're happy and you're stable do you really want to invite this toxicity into your life that's the challenge for you is that you know you're you're good okay you're just fine and you know that this person is like a walking hurricane or a walking tornado you have have a history with this person that's trying to come back around tell me about the outcome here yeah we've got the three of swords we've got the three of cups and we've got the knight of pentacles here seven of cups under the deck cancer listen take your time with this person and situation because um i feel like this person is going to come towards you acting very stable acting like they're normal but with the three of swords and the three of cups this person is going to make you regret reconciling with them they're out to hurt you cancer and with the seven of cups here um i i feel like this person maybe even has a little bit of mental health issues or this person is just you know trying to cause illusions or whatnot but th th make no mistake this is a wolf in sheep's clothing okay all right guys i love you so very much and i will see you soon take care